Yo, what is going on, company gang? It's your boy, Company Neat. And the night of me shooting this is supposed to be the most important night of our time, the most important election of our time, at least, well, especially for those who live in North America. But I guess everyone in the world is being told this because, well, the leader of the free world is being elected, apparently. And, um, you know, I guess it is sort of important. But um, I thought this would be a pretty good chance, a pretty appropriate time to talk about the reasons I have given up on politics and basically why I choose not to pay attention, attention to it anymore and why I think other needs and basically anyone who's watching this shouldn't care either. So um, I guess can't really make this video without talking briefly about my political history. I think, as I've mentioned before, I've been uh, on both sides of the political spectrum. At one point, I was a utopian socialist, I guess you could call it, based on all the stuff that uh, Peter Joseph talks about in his Zeitgeist Moving Forward documentary and other reasons as well i guess like my high school background all of my teachers were pretty liberal so that kind of influenced me in that way to become left and then eventually there was a few things i was wrong i found kind of i was kind of like at odds with in terms of like the left and then i that led me down the rabbit hole of right-wing youtube content and then i kind of just binge watched that and then i became further and further right i didn't go all the way to the far right but i'd say like I was fairly right wing and um, eventually I um, kind of realized that, you know, the shit is fucking pointless. Um, you know, I would, yeah, I'll get into that in a bit, but yeah, I just realized that, you know, both sides have their points depending on the issue and even on an, in every single issue, both sides do have their merits in most cases and then I kind of just decided to be you know radical centrist and then I realized that you know it's you know what you know what there's no point thinking about politics when I'm not going to have an impact on anything anyways so I said fuck it you know I'm just not going to give a crap and become apolitical and that's where I currently stand now and um personally I believe that, you know, everybody should be apolitical because, well, not everybody, I think, but I think needs especially, I'm pretty sure most needs are already apolitical to an extent. Both are, all needs are pretty much disillusioned with the political system because I think fundamentally, you know, you don't really get much of a say in, every, in any election in the first place. And, you know, there's always going to be people behind the scenes who are in positions of power, uh, pulling the strings and making sure certain people are going to be the choices on the ballot. Just like, for example, how they pretty much shafted Andrew Yang, just like they shafted out Bernie Sanders and then bought him out. And, you know, uh, it's like, yeah. So my point is that if you want to make it, I guess your political opinions only really matter when at the point in time you get to that position where you're able to influence who is and who isn't on the ballot and let's face it as a voter that's not you for the most part um obviously i take what i'm saying with a grain of salt i'm in need and my opinions are you know pretty much worth shit but that's exactly my point is that my opinion my opinions are worth shit and you know my vote, if I ever make, if I were to ever make one, would probably be based on so much misinformation and lack of knowledge. And, you know, that, yeah, there's, first, I feel like me doing a vote, me voting would be pretty much be doing the service to whatever country I lived in, if it even really mattered in the first place, because I feel like, you know, a vote is just one vote, first of all. And secondly, you're most likely not even voting for someone who you would have voted for if you actually had, you know, a meaningful impact on who got to be on the ballot, like I was talking about before. But 
yeah, that's one reason why I want to be apolitical. Another reason why is just the whole nature of politics is that it's basically, well, it inherently uh, makes people um, needlessly, you know, self-righteous. Um, and you know how there's this this um, idea of mentally masturbating where, you know, you think about thoughts that make you feel good um, and or like, for example, you think about you fantasize about you living this idea of life and then you keep thinking about that thought and then how you're going to fix everything. And then you kind of just get high off that not high, literally, but like you you get addicted to that to that sort of thought. Uh, I think politics is sort of like a, a subset of that where it's moral masturbation. Where you basically, you know, think about, you know, your side of the aisle or you think about these ideas and then you come up with all these reasons and you think about things that you remember things that you've heard about a certain topic and then you form these opinions and then, you know, not that there's anything wrong with doing this from time to time or if you're like a political whatever politics student and you're going to go into like politics in the future or, you know, whatever if you are you know maybe someone who might have an impact on other people's lives like as a business owner or as an influence a person of influence or whatever but for the most part you're really just thinking of these thoughts and uh you know you're getting worked up over them and then you feel good you feel like you're on the right side of history you're on the right side of the political aisle or that you know you have the right opinion about this thing and then you know you're designed to feel good. It's kind of like a, whatever, a byproduct of our, you know, a byproduct of our primitive, you know, primate brain, our, our tribal brains. And, um, you know, and then you get into the whole thing where there's people who, who don't agree with you, who are on the other side of the political aisle. And then you debate them. Sometimes you win the uh, the argument and then you know you feel self-righteous because you prove them wrong and then you know some people who i've listened to in these youtube videos are saying like oh you know politics is one in our day-to-day -day conversations you know the war it's the war of ideas and we have we have to you have to have a stake in you know fucking politics and you know fucking debate people who you disagree with because you need to change their minds and eventually you know the truth pisses people off, but then it sets them free, whatever, you know, shit like that, and that you're supposed to debate people. But then uh, past a certain, I mean, I, it's kind of true, I guess, but at the same time, you know, I got into long tirades in the comment sections. I've debated people and then, you know, won a few debates. Well, it's a YouTube comment section. I'm not saying I'm smart or informed. Um, you're, you're gonna you're obviously gonna beat people in the youtube comment section at some point and you know it but in reality when you win these arguments you know you're not going to change their mind first of all for the exact same reason that when you lose an argument you're still gonna somehow cling to your old ideas and um yeah so you're not going to change their their opinions but you're really doing it because it makes you feel good that you beat them. That's one level of it. And it's also the idea that, you know, it's like self can you come up, you have these like self congratulatory thoughts in your head that you're better than the other person that, you know, you're more informed that maybe you're more intelligent than them that, you know, you, you're just a better human being than them. And that's just politics just is somehow so deeply interfaced with our tribal brains that just, makes us feel these thoughts. And then when you lose, when you're debating people and when you lose, you just feel terrible because you feel like your whole world is turned upside down. You know, I'm pretty sure your dopamine tanks or something and it's just all these things. And, you know, um, obviously it's good to have your opinions, questions and question and challenge from time to time. But then, you know, it's addicting too. It's like anything can be an addiction, but politics is probably one of the most addicting things because you get the same feelings of self-righteousness when you binge watch people who you agree with and you listen to their opinions and say, hey, that makes sense. Hey, I agree with that. Hey, you know, I agree with this person and this person is smart, therefore I'm smart. Or, you know, uh, that, hey, you know, I, I've read this and I'm formed this opinion and therefore that makes me you know, this and that. But in reality, at the end of the day, outside of, you know, maybe changing one person's opinion 
on the off chance that you actually manage to, you're pretty much doing jack shit to the world. Um, I think you would have a p much greater impact on your own personal life and on the world just, you know, trying to fix the things that are unique to you because at the end, at the end of the day, we're all individuals with, I guess, I'm not going to say unique circumstances, but, you know, we all have our individual circumstances, our individual flaws and strengths and it's better just to work on yourself uh, if that's what you want or just, you know, if anything, just have fun, you know, because at the end of the day, you know, shit is entirely meaningless and, you know, you might as well pursue the things that matter to you or just, you know, have go along for the ride and have fun while doing it versus getting all worked up and pissed off and upset and, you know, having your cortisol levels spike, caring about what this candidate thinks or, you know, debating this person because, I mean, let's, and also going back to the idea that, you know, of what your ability to impact the world, I feel like this whole idea of, you know, your vote, your vote counting, not that any needs vote, but I think I'm sort of addressing, you know, maybe any ex needs or people who aren't needs, I guess, like wages on um, that. This idea that your vote, yeah, it's gonna, it, I'm not gonna say that it doesn't have an impact, especially if you do elect, you know, candidates do have their differences and they do create different laws and different circumstances. But I think at, at the end of the day, you can still live a pretty meaningful life, um, pursuing the things that matter to you. I don't think we're at the point where we're having to choose between leaders that will you know, prevent you from playing guitar or writing music or having opinions or, you know, um, things like that. Although that is sort of maybe some people might disagree with me and I understand. Um, it's, eh, but you know, yeah, with like all the PC stuff, for example, uh, I do sort of disagree with it, but at the same time, it's like until, you know, until the point where, you know, they're going to say they're starting to implement like actual like censorship laws. You know, okay, maybe this is happening. Maybe it isn't, but regardless, like I still think you could live at least there's always going to be things that are in your control. So while I guess, you know, maybe you, you might as well go vote if you have the chance. I think what I'm trying to say is that you shouldn't get worked up over it more than you have to. Um, I think you should just vote for whatever you believe is right and, you know, occasionally have your opinions challenged, but don't obsess over it, at least the way I used to, and watch all these videos, um, because it, it, all these political videos are highly entertaining and they make you feel good, but it's just more consumption, more consuming, more needless, um, you know, whatever, strife and argument and even negative emotions themselves can be addicting because, you know, you kind of rebound from the negative emotions to feeling positive and I have no fucking clue how any of this shit works, but that's my point. Um, I think, at least for me personally, but I think what I say probably applies to a lot of people, you're probably better off just focusing on the things that matter to you. Like for me, it's music and MMA and, you know, this channel, I guess. And, um, you know, maybe, you know, improving myself, like for example, improving my ability to control my emotions and all this crap like that. I think improving that would not only improve my, not change my life more than any sort of vote or politician would, but also impact the lives of the people that, that I interact with because, well, you know, when you, when you're a certain way, you, you, you basically, you're whatever you're fucking, I'll just call it energy. Your energy rubs off on people. If you're, you know, you're pissed off all the time, then chances are you're just going to piss people off and cause a lot of suffering while making yourself miserable. But if you're a pretty chill person, you're pretty happy. The hope is, is that you basically, you know, you, know, you, you make people less stressed by being around you. And I think that's, and, 
even from like a business level like i'm not saying owning a business is a be all and end all of existence but i mean if you do own a business or you do pursue a career in something that really matters to you then you're probably gonna shape people's lives way more than any fucking politician or vote would so my point is is just work on yourself or you know even you just stepping out and you know aldaring but having a good time while doing it i think you know you're impacting your life profoundly more than um whatever yeah politician vote i'm repeating myself but i think that's pretty much all i have to say um uh, take what I'm saying with a grain of salt because I'm just an ignorant neat and I don't really know shit, um, nor am I well informed or intelligent enough to make any really foolproof opinions. This is just my opinion. Um, but um, I think, yeah, I think uh, that's pretty much all to say. Anyways, uh, this is Comfy Neat signing out. If you liked the video, make sure to hit the like and subscribe button down below. I'm sure that there's flaws in my logic or whatever, but uh, yeah, whatever. Uh, peace.